Hello, I'm Rod Pinkston, and welcome to another episode of Jaeger Pro. Solitary bores act completely different than social sows within a sounder, so I'll cover this topic in our basic training segment. I'll also remove the last remaining bore bachelor group on this property using the most efficient process and products while teaching the art and science of integrated wild pig control. Harvest data shows us that adult boars require the most time and labor to remove from a property. The key to achieving high percentage success with adult males is to use the most efficient process and product based on the photo and video observations from multiple dual bait sites, since they tend to cover more territory than adult females. Old boars are much more likely to avoid trap enclosures or completely leave an area when pressured. They are solitary animals and make individual survival decisions since they do not require the social needs of a sounder. Let's observe a typical scenario to help us make a performance-based assessment about boars regarding trapping versus shooting. I capture a sounder of 12 on November 1st and continue baiting for another two weeks. I was able to easily condition and capture another sounder within days, but was unsuccessful at pulling this black boar through either gate threshold. I nicknamed him Big Ears because his ears were not proportionate to his head. I dig a 12 inch deep hole with a post hole digger on 16 November, then fill it with soured corn for aroma. Big Ears locates it after dark and is joined by another boar of similar age and size. I nicknamed this boar Half Hamp, as his Hampshire white stripe across his back is very narrow. Both Big Ears and Half Hamp visit multiple bait holes on the property during the next 30 days, until this tripod feeder is established 700 yards away on 17 December. Both boars begin using this feeder on the 23rd and return again on Christmas Eve. The boars, along with another sounder of 12, dine together on Christmas Day. I build a double gate mine trapping system on 26 December to begin conditioning the sounder for capture. Big Ears arrives at the far gate the evening of the 28th. <laughs> this is the first time I've observed a feral pig walk backwards into our trap. The overhead drop gate causes Big Ear to exhibit the same cautious behavior after midnight at the near gate threshold. Half Hamp also reacts cautiously at the near gate before sunrise on the 30th. The below freezing temperature motivates him to enter the far gate a few minutes later. I rebate shelled corn with a bucket inside both gate thresholds to help condition all 14 pigs to the trap enclosure. Big Ears and Half Amp arrive together after dusk on the 30th. Both cross the far gate threshold within five minutes and are standing under the feeder within 20 minutes. I could easily capture them now, but choose to wait two hours later to capture the entire sounder of 12 instead. I quickly and quietly euthanize them and take photos, then rebate inside the gate thresholds on New Year's Day. The adult boars arrive together at 2019 on 3 January. Big Ears cautiously enters first, followed by Half Hamp 45 seconds later. I receive this photo from our mine cam of both boars standing under the feeder. Using the Jaeger Pro mobile app, I drop both gates. Thank you. 
the bait holes provided opportunity to remove both bores with a thermoscoped rifle six weeks earlier, but would have required more labor hours to accomplish. Building a trap enclosure for the sole purpose of capturing two 170-pound bores is usually not effective. Both are successfully captured using very little labor, but only because I was targeting the sounder of 12. The two bores became targets of opportunity. They could have easily been a liability if captured the first time they entered on the 30th. I would have been driving to the trap enclosure to kill them at the same time the sounder arrived. This could have educated and spooked the entire sounder from the area after investing two weeks of baiting and conditioning. The age and education level of each individual bore will dictate the process and product needed to remove them from a property. Experienced hull control operators must measure the total time and labor of each individual event to validate their choice between trapping or shooting operations. We must use every possible strategic advantage to immediately capitalize on each situation. Intelligent bores may not give us a second chance. To view the entire 30-minute episode, please tune in to RFD TV. Our weekly show airs Tuesday nights at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, 8.30 p.m. Central, Channel 231 on Dish Network, and Channel 345 on DirecTV.